Why do people close their heart? No matter how much we do the healing, no matter what stage we're in our life, it seems like it always comes back to the heart chakra. So today in this video, I'm going to be going over one of the biggest secrets and downloads that I feel a lot of people don't share of why people close and protect their heart. So if this is your first time meeting me, I'm Shika, your conscious mentor. And on this channel, I go through all things shadow work, healing, meditations, working with the moon, plant medicine, and much more. And um, today I'm just going to go over that deep download. It's something that came up for me through my initiation in Peru. I'm currently in Peru, coming to the end of my two months here. And it has been a deep work of healing. I put the initiation here to just initiate with the lands, to do some deep work. I hosted a goddess retreat here. I have more retreats coming up. And um, yeah, I just want to share this. So before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, put notification bells. It helps the channel a lot. And if you're interested in all of these topics, then you will get weekly videos, two videos a week on these topics as well. If you feel called to go deeper into your healing, especially with the heart chakra, I do have my one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So message me on Instagram or through my website. I am ready to heal and I can give you more information on the application process. Um, and lastly is my return. Retreats. I do host medicine retreats. So if you are interested in attending one of my medicine retreats and expanding and going through a huge rebirth, um, please message me on Instagram. I am ready to join the retreat and I can lead you to that space. Okay, so this is so deep. It's gonna be probably one of my most vulnerable videos. Sit down, so get, get some tea, get some coffee. And I wrote some downloads that have been coming up. I actually just finished meditating and I was like, oh, this feels really good to share this with you all. And you know, when we think about our heart, our heart is unconditional love, right? So whether your story at the end of the day is that you didn't feel like you got love from your family or your parents, Maybe you didn't have a partner that was fully in their truth of their heart um, and just feeling like they couldn't provide love. They didn't know how to provide love. Or maybe you've been just rejecting love because you're scared and you're nervous and you don't know how to receive love. All of that is why we close our heart. So I'm going to start with talking about presence. You know, right now you're watching this video, you're in this present moment. Or maybe you're scrolling on your phone while you're watching this video and you're not fully present. Whatever it is, you're in a spate of present. We're in this present moment. And I just want you to really take this big download from this, this whole, whole video. Humans come into this lifetime to be in the now. To be in the space of now. To not be stressful. To not feel insecure. To not feel shame. To feel safe to be ourselves. And where we find that is being in the now of our raw, authentic self. So if we are in the now, and if the world and everyone around us says that all there is is love, where we hear it in songs, where we hear it from our family members, where we nurture and we know, and as babies in the earth world, as we go into the earth world, what we are is this light of love. So wouldn't that make sense to know that you being present is equal to love, right? So this brings me to why people don't open their heart because we are attached to not being in the now. We are attached to the past stories and the victimhood that we hold in ourselves. And I'm gonna share myself as an example. Going through emotionally, physically, and mentally abusive relationship, one of the biggest things I attach to is woe is me, I need to feel bad for myself, I need to make sure that life is harder for me, life always has to be chaotic in my life, my partnerships and my relationships have to be chaotic and if it is not that I am not safe and I am not in the right space, these are the stories we create from ourselves by the attachment of our past. What are we doing there? We're stepping away from the now. And what are we doing there? We're stepping away from the frequency of feeling safe and unconditional love. So why people don't open their heart is because we feel like we need to be attached to a story that isn't no longer alive. The only thing that makes it alive is the moment that we are in this present time and we start to keep coming back and remembering and reminiscing of those moments and reminiscing of the insecurities and reminiscing of the part of the pain and the insecurity and the fear, that's what brings us 
to reject the unconditional love that is always accessible within ourselves. That's what brings us to attach to the story of the past and find relationships in the now that are people that we find um, this kind of safetyness in a relationship and then dependency that we need you know the partner we need the friendship we need to be working all the time to feel like we are somehow being present and being productive then we have the other side of that the future and why people have their hearts closed and like I said, all that matters is now in love. So when we look at the future, what we're doing now is we are putting the pressure of waiting. We are putting the pressure that we have to wait for love, that we cannot receive love at any moment until we are in that future moment of our highest frequency. But that is not true. You can access the love even if you do not have a soulmate that is your lover right now. You can access the love even if you feel lonely and you're going through a huge spiritual awakening and everyone is leaving in your life. You can still access that light and love for yourself. What is preventing you from having that love for yourself? The story of our past, the story of the fear, the story that we're not worthy. And these all come from the memories and the moments that we have attached ourselves to. So the power of us being able to open our heart is being in the now and in now we are unconditional love. We are the frequency of love. And when we can be in that now, what that comes to is how can you spend moments in your day to be detached from a story that you lived and just be with what is it now? Even in moments where we feel anger and we allow that wild inner anger to come through, even in moments where we feel sadness and we are missing or we are grieving of someone who passed away, of a breakup, of a relationship. Why do we not still allow love? Why can't we feel love for ourselves through the times of grieving? Why can't we feel love for ourselves in the time of being able to confidently let our voice express anger and let that wild inner self come through? These are the parts of us that we are scared to unlock. So remembering every time that you are in a space that you do not feel present and that you find yourself in a pattern of your past or you find yourself doing shadow work or healing, ask yourself, how can I have more love and compassion for what is right now? Because no one is preventing you from accessing that but yourself. And that is the thing that I always talk about energetic responsibility. How can we be energetically responsible for ourselves in this present being and moment? That is the part we need to unlock. That is the part of us that we are scared to open up. That is the part of us that is wanting to come out. But yet we fear and we, we are scared. And what is fear? What is fear of opening our heart? Fear of opening our heart, fear of being in, in the frequency of unconditional love is an unlocked feeling of unconditional love and excitement. It is a fear the fear itself is this energy behind it that is unconditional love and the excitement of love that we want to hold for ourselves. That's really what fear is. Fear is just excitement locked in our body. Fear of opening our heart is just excitement that we will receive love. We will re be received by others. That we will be welcomed with this opening of heart and space. And through this initiation of Peru and why I want to share this with you is because I was looking for others to receive me. But then I didn't notice that I could have just received myself this whole time. Why would I put pressure on others to receive me in a certain way when those certain ways are the same ways that I can't receive myself? Again, escaping from the now, escaping from love. Now equals love. Love equals now. That's all that matters. When you love your job, you create abundance because you are in the now and you just keep loving it. You don't love your job because you think about all of the other jobs that cause stress and you know didn't appreciate you as an employee or you had stressful clients or whatever it is. You don't 
allow yourself to enjoy your and love your job because you're thinking of where you're going to be in the millions of dollars you're in this state of now and then when that comes because you're in that opening everything flows so much easier to you you don't allow yourself to be in the now if you're thinking about being abused or you know having a relationship that didn't really treat you the way that you wanted to be treated you don't attach yourself and allow the now to be um, shined on the way that your parents didn't love you and honor you but what can you do you can love your inner child you can love yourself now you can love all those that is a permission that can be received right now and accessed right now but why do you allow yourself to continue to let the old past be ignited to be your now it doesn't have to be that is attachment of the victimhood of emotion that I see a lot when I'm doing healing, when I'm doing shadow work with people in this work, is that they're scared. They just want to be. They want to be that woe is me. They don't want to be in the now. They don't know how to. What about even just starting with Sheikah? I don't know how to be in the now and to be loved, but I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to be open. I'm willing to understand it. That is a start. The future of who you want to be and how you want to be will why don't we just work on that love now and when we're not looking for it, that soulmate will come. That loving job that makes you happy will come because you are at that frequency. But when you're focusing on what you don't have outside of the frequency of now, we are continuing to be in a loop of feeling like we're missing something that is already in us. We're missing that excitement that is unlocked inside of us and then we're focusing on the fear instead remember fear is just a representation of unlocked excitement and in this case unlocked unconditional love wanting to come through so i want you to take this with you and whenever you feel that your heart is closed off to yourself or to others Whenever you feel that you are out of a space of a frequency of now, come back to this video, come back to the space. Be reminded of what this is because this message is timeless. And this message will become deeper in your, in your DNA. Every time you listen to it, you're gonna pick something different. You're gonna feel something different. You're gonna receive something different. And you're just gonna be like, wow, okay, now I get it. I get this version, I get this part. And I'm honoring it fully with my life. I'm honoring all of what is. I am open to receive love. And I am open to receive being in the now because I am worthy to receive that excitement, to receive that love, to receive that being, to receive that safetyness within my own self. And that's all that matters. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on why people close their hearts. It's because they're running away from being in the now in love. It's because they would rather be a victim of their past and focus on what they are missing and from their future and where they're going. When you can access that all the time and it allows your spirit to feel at rest, and feel whole. And with that, we can manifest more love in such a higher frequency your soul can't even imagine. So, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful, beautiful transmission. I am sending you all love and light. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, put notification bell so you don't miss the video. And uh, if you feel called to go deeper into healing and you're looking for a space holder and feel called connected with this energy, you can message me on Instagram. I'm ready to heal for the application process or through my website on my contact information. Uh, you can also join my medicine retreats that are throughout the year and um, they're very powerful, super powerful. We do a lot of heart work. So um, if you're interested in that, you can message me as well. Let me know. I'm ready to step into the retreats. I love you all so much. I'm wishing you the best in presence and love and excitement and knowing that you have that already in this moment, no matter what state you are in your life right now. I love you.